kids, what is going on? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now, basically, we're doing a mod spotlight on the mod Tinker's Construct. So, it's over that double pickle hack spike there. Um, Tinker's Construct. Oh, oh, geez. Tinkering. I should say that. So, you can make cool tools like never before. It adds in a lot of different cool materials, too. So, as you can see, copper. And it adds in gravel ores. So, this is copper gravel ore. I just found some of this. So, yeah, you can mine it with a shovel, get the copper gravel ore, and then smelt it like you normally would, or with a smeltery, as I will show. So, when you spawn in, you get this Materials in You Volume 1, and you can open it, learning to tinker, and it shows you a lot of different stuff. So, so that doesn't, we don't really need that, so, if you put it in a crafting table, you can get Materials in You Volume 2, and then Mighty Smelting, and then Tinker's Weaponry, then Diary of a Tinkerer, and then it's just useless. So, yeah, you can do all that stuff, but, yeah, so, I think we should get into some of the tool making. So, what you're going to need, oh, by the way, these cool crafting stations, their, their recipe is just, like, shown, you just shove a crafting table, for, the, for some reason there's two, you just shove a crafting table into a crafting grid. And then you get, like, yeah. You get a craft, one of these crafting stations, and they can store items. So, for example, it did not fly out everywhere. And we go back in. Yeah. So, whoops. If we get a normal crafting table, as you probably know, I probably don't need to show this. You just put something in, escape out, it flies out everywhere. So, yeah. Correct, normal Minecraft crafting tables. So, first I gotta say, we gotta show the... So, I'll, be able, I'll just put some crafting stations down. And, as you probably saw, which is what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna give myself more of these. You can convert them and pretty much anything from the Tinker's mod into slab versions. So there we go. And okay, so you're gonna set, need to set up your Tinker's thing as stencil table. I'll show you all the recipes in a second. Then I'm getting old on this kind of um, heart builder. Yep. Then tool station. Or tool forge. Tool, fo the tool forges are better. And I screwed up. Right here. Or you can go like this, which is what I usually do. Pattern chest. Just pattern chest. For some reason, I thought there were four things. Well, of course, there are four, including the pattern chest, but I thought there were four tables. Hmm. Okay. So. All the recipes are um, part builder is a blank pattern. I'll show you how to get those in a second. And absolutely any kind of wood. Tool forge is a tool station with blocks of iron and seared bricks. Tool station is crafting station with a blank pattern. Stencil table is any kind of plank with a blank pattern. Crafting station, as I showed, just a crafting table. And pattern chest is a chest with a pattern. So... I guess I should start showing how you make yourself some tools. So you need these pattern things. So pattern, blank patterns. Now the recipe for these things are just two dark, just two any kind of planks and sticks gives you four. So put them in the stencil table. They won't go in there. There we go. And you can see there's a lot of patterns you can make. So.
for example, you want to make a pickaxe. Tinker's pickaxe. And you want to make it out of cob. Can't spell cobblestone, right? Co cobblestone and I'm going to make a really junky one. I don't know. Wood. Perfect. <laughs> so you're going to go into the tool forge or your tool station. Click on pickaxe. And notice it's, it shows this, this, and this. So you're going to get this, this, and this. You need a pattern for this, this, and this. So this is a pickaxe head, this is a pickaxe binding, and this is a pickaxe rod. So in the stencil table, you're going to notice you're going to need the thing that looks like that rod because it shows in the pickaxe thing, it shows that rod. So you're going to need the one that looks like that rod. I know it comes out looking like this, but it's called a tool rod. Then we're going to need the X, the small X, because that is what is in the pickaxe. <laughs> Basically, you do this for everything in the pattern. So, But if there's two of the exact same, just only make one of these patterns. And then pickaxe head. So, there we go. Now we go into the part builder. You can also shove them in the pattern chest. Show you uh, what's different about those in a second. And yeah, you can access it th through here. So, pickaxe head pattern. And then you shove in the material you would like to use. So, here's a stone pickaxe head. Then we're going to shove that in there because we're done with it. Binding. We'll use wood. A wooden binding. It also gives you a stick. Because this says material costs 0 0.5. When 0 0.5, let me take my stick here. For example, say I used cobblestone. You're going to get a cobblestone shard. With wood, you get a stick. But, and sometimes the material cost is like, it's like a crazy amount. You just have to put a crazy amount in there. But, yeah, that's really easy. This is going to be a half, too. And I'm going to use wood again. By the way, I'm making a cheap, junky pickaxe. So, that they're... They look the exact same, the tool rods and the sticks, but they're they're different. So, then we go into the tool forge, and we do what it says we need to do. Shove in. That does not go there. Pickaxe head, and finally the binding. Bam! Stone pickaxe. And, like I showed, you can do a lot of different stuff with the tinkers. And then again, we can make a pure one. So, for example... Place that in there. And we can make a 100% pure stone pickaxe if we want. So really you can use every single kind of combination here. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, then we come over to the tool forge. Go there, there, there. Nope. There and there. Gimme. And yeah. So, let me just show what happens when Tinker's tools break. Well, they technically don't break. Let me just quickly show more Tinker's. Um, let's make up a shovel. So, we're going to need shovel head. And I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need different. Just so. I'm going to make a cobblestone shovel head. Then I'm going to get, like... A lot of wooden bindings. There. Because we're going to need them. So, so we aren't going to need them. And like just a lot of tool rods. Okay. That's good. Now nah, just give me that stick. Oh come on. Not a night again. Tool forge. Shove in in the shovel pattern here. Oh, you don't even need the binding. Woohoo! It looks like an, it looks the exact same as a normal Minecraft shovel, although it's not. So, stone shovel, and it says it's the exact same thing as a normal Minecraft one. But dudes, don't listen to it. It's not. So, 
Um, that is not the shovel. That is not the pick I wanted to use. I wanted to use this cheap one. And you're going to notice this is going to go faster than this. You can't really notice at all. And also, this guy is going to have more durability. The one that isn't wooden is going to have more durability. <clears throat> so, let's go mining. And I'll see you when this thing breaks. I also wanted to mention, because it's getting kind of dark, the new kind of Tinker's Construct torches. And they're stone torches. They're kind of normal torches, but they're stony. <laughs> so the recipe is going to be a stone tool rod, which is just... You can make them in the... Uh, you can make them in the part builder. Or... You can make them like this. Cobblestone or normal stone. But with cobblestone you only get two. And with normal stone you get four. So yeah, you can do it like that too. But yeah, and then you can make these cool looking torches. Also, there's a lot of things I'm forgetting to tell you. If you put torches beside a pickaxe, then you can just right click. And kind of, you know, use them like that. But only tinker stools. Okay, it's gonna break. It's gonna break any second now. I can feel it. I can feel it shattering in my fist. Oops. There, it broke. But it didn't disappear. It just says broken now. <laughs> so, how do you fix it? Well, let's head back up. Um. Oops. Let me up. Go. Hey. This takes forever. Okay. Then we go to the tool forge here. Shove in our pickaxe. Then shove in whatever type of pickaxe head it has. So stone shards. Bam. It works again. Yay. And if you do try to use a broken tool, it'll be just like you're using your normal hand. So, yeah. That's how that works. Also, guys. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> so, so, dudes, um, quickly, I'm just going to mine this ore here. Because I feel like it. It goes so slowly. Oh, and dudes, you cannot mine it with your hand. Just give me another one. I want to have them all. You just can't. It doesn't look like it's going to work, but I can assure you it won't work. Five years later. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, so... Um, I guess I'm just going to show you the setup of a smeltery, because, I mean, they're pretty cool. Something you're going to want to look at eventually. Usually they're pretty early on, early game thing, but still. Um, I figured I was going to show you some recipe. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you the recipes for these things. So, seared bricks. Seared bricks. Which is grout. And how do you get grout? Well, clay, sand, and gravel. Either in this recipe or in this recipe. And you can get some grout. And then you can shove it in your furnace, make some seared bricks. And then... I don't know what other uses for grout there is besides melting it. You can melt it. Nope, you can only make that into that. And so, seared bricks are like that. Wait, what? Um, so is that. Smeltery controllers like that. Smeltery drains like that. Seared faucets are like that. Seared tanks are like this with any kind of glass. Casting tables, da-da-bang. 
casting basins like that. So, you're going to take your seared bricks here, and I'm going to lay out a one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three. Okay, a five by five base here. And there we go. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go five high. You do not have to go five high. In fact, I wouldn't go five high because I would probably wouldn't have enough bricks. <laughs> now, you don't need to have a roof on this thing, and I'm probably not going to. I mean, it just makes it so you can fall in, and that's not good. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess. You never need a roof on this thing. So, I'm out of seed bricks. Give me more. Thank you. So, yeah, that just goes to show how quickly I went through one of those things. And I'll come back when I'm done this. Alright, so, that's it. Dang it, I fell inside. Give me my pick. You know, I'll give me my pick that I'm actually, that I made. Give me my pick. And shove that there. So that's the basic structure. Now, you're going to need a smeltery controller, really anywhere. Then over here, beside it, or really anywhere, but I like putting it beside it. Seared tank. By the way, this is a multi-block. When you put the seared tank, it's going to get flames, even though it can't smelt stuff. So you're going to need lava too. And a lot of it. Put some in there. Put some in there. Put some in there. Put some in there. There. We've got a full tank. Now we can actually smelt stuff. But before we're done, we need one, two, three. We're going to place this. We're going to place smeltery. What? Wait, what? Glitch. Big glitch. It gave me the wrong texture. Oh, um, okay. That shouldn't happen to you. Just put smeltery drains down there and then seared faucets. Let me put seared faucets on. There we go. Then... Casting basins, you can make them all casting basins, but I'd recommend one casting table, at least. So, how come there's a seared brick in there? Give me that. Um, I guess that's it. I mean, they'll use all my parts. Casting basin, casting table, seared bricks, smeltery controller, smeltery drain, seared vault. Yep. Okay, we're ready to queue it up. Um, give me a lot of iron. Two stacks. Okay, three stacks. <laughs> so, basically, you can just shift click into this side, and how big that side is depends on how big you actually made this meltery. Yes, this is a multi block. And then you can throw your stuff in there. And these little bars beside it shows how much the progress is. And then you just gotta wait. Yep, you just gotta wait. We're almost done, guys. And there. Before our eyes, it's turning into molten iron. Oh, no. Well, actually, that's a good thing. And by the way, I should have shown you this before. You can actually see it inside the thing. Look at it. It's beautiful molten iron, and I'm swimming in it. And if I was in survival, I'd be dying. Yeah. And also, if you throw more iron in there, which is what I'm going to do, you can also see the iron in there. But you can go right through it. Kind of weird, eh? I'm swimming in iron! Yay! Hey, hey! Look what I have built! Okay, right now I'm just being a total weirdo. Give me that. Yeah. Um, so I have some more iron in here. And... You can notice the level of gun. Oh, there's iron in there. Okay, so 
what we're going to want to do here is, well, melt this iron down into actual useful stuff, right? So, we're just going to, for example, say I have, um, cobalt. Why not? It's a new, it's a new item from, it's a new ore. There's a, actually a lot of new ores. Just saying, I got to get pump some of this molten iron stuff out of here. Trickle, 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 trickle. Okay, so now I have enough room for some cobalt in here. And uh, there. Now we just gotta wait for this stuff to melt down. And yeah. Okay, dude, so, um, that cobalt is melt molt melted down. And if we. We have to tell it which one we wanna pour out, right? So we're going to click on which one we want to pour out. And it'll move it to the bottom. So yeah. We're going to pour, pour out iron. Because there's a lot of it. And. Then you just right click on the tap. And look at that beautiful animation. I love it. And if you don't. Then this is for you. So, um, we can pour more out. Then, I guess you could say, it's kind of cool, right? I love the animation. And it won't let us pour any more out. Sometimes it glitches and it just stops like halfway for some random reason. But I just love it. So cute. Um, gimme. So... Then we can click on cobalt and then pour out some cobalt. Cool. But the main reason is why can't I make iron tools? That's a question I asked when I first played with this mod is why can't I make iron tools like I can't make a pickaxe head. I just can't do it. Why can't I do it? it makes me cry. Okay. So here's why. Um, you have to use a smelter for that. So basically, create one of every kind of thing that you would like to make into a cast. Yes, you need casts. So, gimme. Okay, fine. Give me a stone. Give me another stone binding one. Whatever. And then, then you got to um, take the rod or whatever you're throwing in, give me the cobalt, into the casting table. I told you it would come in handy. And then, I forget how to make these things again. I, I forget. Oh, yeah, molten aluminum brass. Or you can use gold. So aluminum brass or gold. Now, how do you get aluminum brass? It's probably what you're wondering. Now, smeltery alloying. You need molten aluminum and molten copper. But I'm just going to use... You know what? I'm going to use gold. Which is much quicker. Much quicker. Just shoving it in the smeltery and get in. So, gold... Go. Whoops. Yes, you can put some random items in the casting basin. Dang it, I do not want to pour out cobalt. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There's not what I want to do. Eh, I have a lot of cobalt. I can ma I can manage it. Um so yeah. So yeah guys, I guess. Oh, it's coming. So then gold, pour it out onto here, and wait. I went quick. Hmm. Oh, it didn't finish. See, it glitched out again, like I told you. So, you get your part back, and then your cast. Should really get rid of a lot of the junk in my inventory. Or, you know what, this sword blade pattern and stuff. It gets stored in the pattern chest. Just go in there. I don't need a mighty smelting book. 
And, and yeah, when you you can also store casts in the what you call it table, the pattern, the pattern chest, the pattern chest. Sorry. Um. And by the way, when you need a book, it'll automatically give it to you. So it's kind of cool. Pickaxe head. And you ready? So we'll be able to make these things soon. So now we're gonna make an iron pickaxe. Or a cobalt pickaxe. Cobalt head iron. Iron rest. So let's pour the cobalt onto the head. Gimme. See? See? Getting the hang of it now? Uh -huh. Gimme my iron. Shove that into the binding. Gimme, gimme. Tool rod. Gimme, gimme. I don't have enough inventory space. You stupid inventory. Um. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Um. Then you just head over to your tool forge, like you would always. Nope, that's not how it goes. There we go. Cobalt pickaxe, reinforced to boo, yeah. So, give me my cast. Um, so that's how you're gonna. So that's how you're gonna work metal pickaxes and stuff. Yeah, like I said, you can store it in there and do all that stuff. And of course, this is way better, and it mines like instantly. It's better than diamond. If you did not notice, it is better than diamond. So. What was I thinking about? Um, yeah. Well. I don't know. I think I'm going to say. Wait. What about this tab? Oh, look. It's beautiful. Well, first of all, I'm going to go over these. Now, they're called heart canisters. So, red heart canisters. How do you get these? Miniature red hearts, which you get from mob drops from the wither. There's a 2.5 chance you will get a miniature red heart, so that's a really low chance. And a 100% chance you would get a miniature yellow heart dungeon chests you can find them in dungeon chests so 4.4 percent you can convert a miniature yellow heart into a miniature red heart um yeah like i showed the wither the um ender dragon can drop it enderman zombie so really, when you're fighting, eventually you're going to get one of those things. It's really like everything drops it. That's a 2.5 chance. So. That's pretty much how you're going to get. Then, you can, if you use these jeweled apples. Expensive, right? Um, and then miniature red hearts and necrotic bones or whatever. They drop from wither skeletons. And again, they can drop these red hearts. And then an empty canister, which is just aluminum like that, or tin around a bone. And then, you need ten. Once you make ten, you shove them in this slot, then watch your health. Oh no! It's turning, it's turning yellow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh really, that's good, because it can... That means, you're getting more health. And then... You're going to have 30 health. So now, if we grab these yellow heart canisters, which are just more red heart canisters, a gold, a notch apple. And you need 10 of these things. And then a yellow heart. To drop from a wither, an ender dragon, or a blue slime. Okay. Oh, and those things are found, like, I don't know where. <laughs> On, like, Tinker's Island. You can see them. Now they're gonna start turning yellow, and then these green heart, these green heart things just do not have a recipe. Just saying. 
I'm sorry to the guys who wanted to uh get like 50 health because right now with these yellow heart canisters, I have 40 health. There's no way to legitimately obtain these. The recipe is a blank canister, two eyes of ender, and a um. Well, this is what they're the got the people are thinking it's going to be because I'm pretty sure it won't let me. Like Eyes of Ender, not made of Minecraft. What you call it? Um, green hearts and can sisters. Yeah, if we go in here, this is the recipe. No, we can't make them. So yeah, guys. Currently, these are in create. These are creative only. That is going to be the recipe. But these miniature green hearts. There's no recipe. They're just not obtainable. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm gonna give myself these anyway. And then they make your health go green. They work. But there's no recipe. Creative mode only, guys. But in creative mode, you're not even going to need these hearts, so why bother? <laughs> so, I guess that's going to be implemented later. Um, But, yeah, that's that. Then there's these knapsacks, which I'm going to show you. Knapsack. Let me just exit out and go in, and there's a way to hold all our stuff. Yay! I'm just going to shove all my stuff on here because, like, I don't need any of it. Thank God for knapsacks. But I can't fit any of anything else in it. I'll take stone shards. I guess those are okay. Um, Chest I don't even need. Really, these things I don't even need either. I forget I don't have an inventory two weeks installed. But yeah. Um what's that? Then there's these Sorry dudes, um Sorry dudes, I clicked out into the Google Chrome tab of music. Um Um Traveler's things. So, Traveler's vest. You wear. Traveler's boots. You wear. Traveler's belt. You put in here. Traveler's gloves. You put in here. I don't know what they do. Oh yeah, they make you... Brick blocks quicker. Traveler's wings. You put... Where do you put them? Oh. You put them on your leggings. You put them on your legs. Traveler's goggles you put on your face. There we go. And what goes there? Hang glider, I think. Do they exist? Nope. I don't know what is that. What that is. And by the way... Oh, leg, leg. You can zoom with Z. With these traveler's goggles. Yeah, you can, guys. You can zoom with Z. And you can swim fast with those. With the traveler's vest. Swift swim, it says. Oh. Oh. Get me out of the water. It's faster than usual. Look at me go. Yay. So. Then there's these. High step. And traveler's wings. High jump. So you can jump really high. And computer hates these things. Auto jump. In. Minecraft 1.10. Yeah I'm auto jumping. Dude they're not hitting the space key. Well, my computer hates these things. 
Traveler's gloves, I'm not sure what these do. Traveler's belt, you can like swap the hot bar, so. I hit B and it opened up my make a waypoint menu, so. But with B, you can change out from like two different hot bars and I'll just change. Look at these wings. Just look at them. But. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna take this stuff off. It's way too laggy. It's way too laggy. It's way too laggy. Um, delete, 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 delete. There we go. Now I'm a normal person. Yay. But, but dudes, I think we're gonna end it out for today. Hope you guys enjoyed making a really epic pickaxe. Like, I mean, I like, I like these pickaxes. They just look awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed making a really cool pickaxe. Well, hopefully you made a really good pickaxe if you've downloaded the mod yet. But if you haven't, then hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> but see you guys next time for another Minecraft video. Goodbye.